He doesn't just have an affinity for planeswalkers, he's married to one. Only shooting stars break the Hello everybody and welcome to Brawl Stars, I'm Amy the Amazonian. Today I'm hitting you with some Orzhov Planeswalkers with Tomic, Wielder of Law. Tomic has affinity for Planeswalkers, Flying and Vigilance, which means that he gets discounted based on the number of Planeswalkers you have on the board, which means, yes, this deck has a lot of Planeswalkers in it. It also has an extra protective ability where if your opponent is attacking you or your planeswalkers with multiple creatures, you get to draw a card and they lose some life. That means that there's kind of two main ways that you can build this deck, either as a death and taxes sort of deck to really just synergize with that second ability, or you can just play a lot of planeswalkers, which is exactly what I've done. Atomic, uh, by the way, I believe has affinity for planeswalkers because in the story, He's actually married to one. Uh, Rawl Zarek is his husband, but Rawl Zarek has an is it color identity, which means he can't go in this deck, which is very sad. We're just going to hope we match up against a Rawl and then they can like stare at each other lovingly across the battlefield. This deck, by the way, is also playing lots of board wipes and other pieces of removal because Tomic himself, sure, he can swing in for two damage, but he's not doing that much to protect the Planeswalkers otherwise. You know, the discouragement of three life and card draw is not actually going to stop that many people from attacking or destroying your Planeswalkers. This deck is also just running some of the best cards in Orzhov, things that phase us out, destroy lots of creatures, and of course, the Planeswalkers. Seriously, this Kaya and this Kaya are absolute houses. We also have Shuldred and her best friend, Shuldred, because we are an Orzov deck and we like to cause problems. So we're going to take Tomic into the queue and we're going to fill up the board with Planeswalkers. It's Slimefoot and Squee! Slimefoot and Squee enter the battlefield, make a Saffirling token, and then kind of just want to die. They also make a Saffirling token when they attack. But when I say they want to die, I mean it, because once he's in the graveyard, he can sacrifice the Sapperling from the battlefield, pay four mana, and then bring himself and another creature back. Uh, we're going to, however, curse them, Slimefoot and Squee, just to make their commander a little bit more expensive to cast. We're actually very lucky in that we have some exiling removal in hand to make it harder for them to get this out, get it in the graveyard, bring it back, all that stuff. Always bolt the bird. I actually should have played the planes, I think. Nah, this is fine. Tonic. Yes, always turn the halfling into a farmer. Always bolt the bird. It's uh, close enough, blast burn. Yeah, it, we're close enough. Tonic's here. Oh, and so is Shuldred. Hello, you nasty mistake of a card. I actually added this card to this deck right before this. It was not in my original brew because I was like, ah, it's not a Planeswalker. But I am playing an Orzov deck and he just kind of, she just kind of goes into decks. She's really good. She gains us a lot of life to help pay for all the um, life loss that we commit. There's a lot of it. We're gonna use Elspeth Conquer's Death on this Pock because he's making too many lands. And I don't like the fact that he can come back from the graveyard if we don't exile him. Also, uh, if we get to chapter three here, we'll be able to return a creature or planeswalker, which is kind of nice if we happen to discard one with Liliana. What are you gonna do with all that mana, all that mana on the board? Are you gonna give Pock Hexproof? I paid a lot there. How much does Sheltered cost? $85 dues! Ugh, I don't have one of these. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess they put something in my graveyard for me. So, um, cool. Now I have something to reanimate! Yeah, ding dang, Shelly. This card costs too much mo too much dollars. Is there an Emrakul in their graveyard? Yes. They surveilled it from the pylon. Aw, and they destroyed that. 
I deserve that. Oh. <gasps> Anna. They have so much mana. I do not have the mana. Here, I'll let you have more things in your graveyard. Oh, Olivia! That's going to bring back a uh, attacking Emrakul. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Hey, girl. How you doing? Yeah, besties, right? Ooh, cool orb. Mm hmm. Yes. <gasps> A land! For me? Shouldn't have. I'm not dead yet. Uh, we're gonna use the secret fourth ability on Liliana called doing nothing. That's a lot of cards! Slimefoot and Squee, I am going to sacrifice the Curse of Silence because I am scrambling for land. Oh, somebody's gonna make a buff sapperling. This is some reanimation. Guess I'll just keep it on top. Do it. Do it! Use the other map. Or play a card from your hand. More mill! Oh, I need those lands. Soren, you're not a land. But maybe he can find me a land. I bring Thank you. Nothing on is free. They're gonna mill this and everything else. Sorens can be exchanged for goods and services. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly what he's here for. Mmm, that's a Natali. I love, yes, uh, for anybody who missed it, Young Necromancer is a little necromancer dressed up as Liliana. It's so cute. Hmm, I'm surprised they didn't kill Soren. Meow, 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 meow. One million mills! Craig! Blood for knowledge. Reach! Okay, so if I get the Olivia, then I can bring out the Shouldred. But a Tali could be anything. Anything. Ooh, okay. You sacrifice a creature token. And you uh get me a basic land. Yes, this one! Perfect! I will have a slime foot and squee. Only mine is fake. Full plus, discard Iron Crag. It is hard to say no to an Atali. Big old dinosaur. Oh, uh, that's a dead Atali. Would you look at that? 
51 cards in deck and 36 in the grave. Attacking Kaya. Getting double blocked. Huh. I wish I had Command of Dreadhorde in this. That would be really fun. Uh, I will plus on Soren. It is a land. Absolutely take the land. Put that into play. Uh, they have no cards, so... Um, what am I feeling here? I'll just plus two. Start chilling with the Lilin. Zombie. And I will just keep plussing here since I have a an excess of cards in hand. I have atomic. They are now also going to mill a bit more. Faithful suiting can put more things in the graveyard. Uh, by the way, I have 49 cards in deck. They have 46. This is notable because um, orb. Orb might mill us. I might want to stop, you know, like, casting so many spells and just rely on these guys over here. We are spooper friending. Ooh, victimized! Right, that just got added to Arena. That is a perfect card for this deck. They cycled and unearth. They're just digging. Whatever they were digging for... We don't know. We definitely won, though. That is four planeswalkers on the board. GG. Nissa, Ascended Animist. This is kind of like having a crater hoof in the command zone because she can come down, immediately use her minus seven ability, and give your creatures a big buff and trample until end of turn. She can also just make big, scary Phyrexians or destroy artifacts and enchantments. They'll be ramping. Ramping, playing critters. Big green stuff. Big green stuff. We have some nice removal. Have a little bit of ramp, too. There's nothing for us to kill. We'll just get some mana. Look at me, Mom, ramping faster than the green deck. All they've got is beans. Oh, I wish I had beans. I'm not allowed to put this in my deck. It's a green card. I guess we should go for double white first for Wandering Emperor. Over double black for this. Oh, we got both of them anyway. Hmm. Good water. These full art lands are my favorites. Got three mana. <gasps> and they're settling. This gets them another land and a four drop permanent in hand. I'm going to play the Wandering Emperor. He's going to make a slammer eye. Slam it down to 2 2. We'll use Cruelty of Gix to take a peek at their hand. What you got there? Monkey! Well, you're Kazlim, Azusa, Beastie Boy. So, Silverback and Haywire Might are the two that are able to get rid of my Cruelty of Gex. This one wouldn't be able to do it right away. It would take an extra turn. So I think I'm going to drop the Haywire Might. Because they would need to have the monkey down and then cast another creature. They could also play Nyssa for 5 mana, paying 4 life, and then use the minus ability to destroy Cruelty of Gex. Yeah, I have a way to destroy the monkey. Ape! It's a pretty great ape. But I mean, aren't we all? Aren't we all great apes at heart? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? This feels like it would be frustrating for a green deck. What is this? It's 
What is this? I am going to tell the Silverback Elder to get lost, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look to do a little DIY monkey business across the next few turns. Defiler of Vigor lets them play two life instead of a green for a permanent. Uh, this now means that Nyssa can be paid uh, for just four mana. But I don't think you'd want to. My monkey! <laughs> I'm going to destroy the beans. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Bam! Got it! Name black off this. And so teeth is fine. That is mana. Uh, we are going to do, make them sacrifice the Defiler of Vigor. I'm going to invigorate Tomic, wielder of law. Swing it in. Boop. And me and Christina Breachy are ready to rumble next turn. Azusa. The map and let them get more lands, and since Azusa lets them play a lot of extra lands in the turn. Time for oh, your Kazlum? Time for the green board wipe? I don't think they have one of those. Oh, we have lethal. Because we can we can put counters on things and proliferate them. Oh, and here I was going to be a rude little baby using Breach the Multiverse. GG. Poor world, a cursed king. You use him to sacrifice things to draw cards and get a gigantic dragon. We've got three mana here. Uh, and I do have something I can cast. I, I kind of have four mana with the Samaria's Call, too. I do really like uh, Skyclave Apparition, being able to exile things, though. Such a nice card. Ooh, a bobble! That's sacrificable. Just like my Bloodstained Mire! Are you gonna play land? Okay, auto sack land. Manual sack land. Grab our shadowy back street. Hmm, a Solemn Simulacrum. I mean, it gives me something for turn four. Sure, I'll do it. This also gets me to five mana. And if they don't play anything for me to exile on their, like, turn two, we can just play Tomic. He'll just sit there and, I don't know, look pretty on his gargoyle. He'll do lawyerly things, like paperwork and attending law places. The lawatorium. I'm great at this, can you tell? I have a Tomic. I'm a very lawyerly sort. <laughs> the law, yeah, he goes to the law store and he buys big books. Listen, I live not too far away from Harvard Law School, and every year I see in their trash just tons of big books filled with cases, case studies. And I'm pretty sure that's all that those lawyers are doing. He's just reading big old books full of law cases. No, you don't park your car at Harvard Yard. There's no parking in Harvard Yard. I could pick him up and look like a big hive of law kid. Yeah, I would have so many books. Oh, hey, Prosper. Prosper's good in decks. Makes them a treasure if something is played or cast from exile, and gives them the card in exile to play or cast. 
I'm going to use Skyclave Apparition to get rid of Prosper. They will not live long and prosper. They will live short and prosper. Oh, I should have played Hive of the Eye Tyrant. It will come and tap. Oh, well, I got enough mana for Kyra or Eternal Wanderer next turn. I'm pretty happy. Could you park your har in Bar Harbor? You could, but a lot of this stuff downtown is metered. I wonder if they'll kill the Skyclave Apparition to get themselves a 4-4. Nope, they're killing Tonic. Nothing for me to steal with Kaya. I can use her for card draw, though. You used me for card draw! I don't know if they have a fatal push. It seems fortune favored you. <laughs> What'd you mean in the harbor itself? Oh, hmm. You know, at low tide, you could park your har in the harbor. But you're not getting that car back. It's gonna be very wet. Oh no! Wait. Why didn't they destroy this to give themselves a creature? They just really don't like Tomic. I guess that's fair. A lot of us don't like Tomic. Donate the car to the crabs. To the crabs? <laughs> it's gonna be a big hermit crab. I really wanted to make a copy of their commander with it, but I just kind of want to get her down as a card draw engine. Also, she discounts Tomic! Ooh, ham! This has hexproof, so they can't ping it. Into the north. They could uh, kill the Skyclave apparition. Sacrificing the bobble in this land. I want a mayhem devil. Reasoning. It's symmetrical. Aww. They sacrificed it. Darn. Alright, well, I guess time for more planeswalkers. Bring out the Eternal Wanderer, and we're going to use her plus ability to make that token cease to exist. I'll foretell the Doom Scar. Now Tomic has two buddies! You can't see him because he's behind me, but he costs five mana. Oh, look! You can make him pop up. Kaya has three loyalty. Eternal Wanderer has six. I know I'm, like, in the exact line of where you guys would be able to see that. So I'll try and scoot off to the side. Also, I'm being slightly blinded by the sun coming through my windows. It's the sunset. Ophia Rogers sacrificing that fabled passage. Is it time for a blood on the snow? No, turn timber symbiosis getting... Oh no, that must have been their only hit murderous rider. He doesn't get to do any murdering. He just is a 5-6. Okay, well, I guess I'll uh, go ahead and draw some cards. I'll keep watch. Hmm, scrying to the bottom. I'll temporarily exile that. Play a land. Archangel Elspeth. And now Tomic only costs four mana, so we can bring out the Arcane Signet. And Tomic. And I'm going to turn Tomic into an angel. Because he's just the sweet lawyer boy. <laughs> he 
You see the sun literally exactly on my eyes? This is a problem. Oh! Look at that! They killed her! Just drawing some cards. Gotta get that sacrifice. And that dude's coming back, the murderous rider. He's also dying. We're going to use Drown in Icker. Get that proliferate. And I mentioned before, I really would love a copy of Corvold. So we are going to minus three the Kaya who just got proliferated up to four loyalty to get a Corvold of our very own. I'll sacrifice the swamp. Make a little soldier. Sacrifice this land, drawing cards, getting an ever bigger growing dragon. Oh, and speaking of dragons, Ugin! He's a dragon! He does look weird as a white spirit. Doesn't feel dragony. GG, Corvold. My name Pakal, Southern Moon. It's a go wide Boros deck. Very aggressive, lots of creatures. I'm actually, um, I like that this hand has one piece of removal, but I would really like a board wipe. Um, Tomic is okay at blocking. I'm going to keep this and uh, see what we get. Ooh, Miner's Guidewing. That'll give them an attack immediately. Also, when it dies, they can explore, which potentially gets them more counters on Anim Pakal. And the more counters she has, the more gnomes she makes when any creature attacks in. It's seriously, it's not just hurts any creature. I don't know why she's like this. She's so good. Got my shadowy back straight here. Back straight's back. All right. No, 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 no. No, that's not what I need. Um, I think that rather than playing the Mind Stone, it makes more sense for me to hold the Infernal Grasp. Trying to kill Anna Pakal when she resolves. Virtue of Loyalty! That's a great card. Rafine's Informant. Hold up, let me look something up here. Yep, that checks out. Oh, a board wipe! Perfect. Um, I kind of like Tomic here to try to get them to use some removal. Then they're like, oh, they're tapped out, we'll get out and the call, we'll swing in, and then bam, hit them with the board wipe. Day of Judgment. Judgment, the day of. Okay, they swing in. I will block Rafine's informant. I'm actually okay with also just using the single target removal on Anim Pakal. Saving the board wipe for slightly later in the game. We also have this Drown and Icker. So I'm going to start with the Drown and Icker. I still think they have a Swords to Plowshares. But if I can get them to play her again immediately, or use something to protect her. And we're doing great! Yeah, them attacking us wide means that they also lost some life. We drew a card. This is great for us. GG, Adam Pakal. Narset Enlightened Master attacks in, casts things for free, and annoyingly has Hexproof. Also, first strike. This is a keepable hand. This is a dead card, but Authority of the Consoles means that they can't just give her haste and swing in on the same turn that they play her. No, they'd have to wait, taking an extra turn maybe, because their deck's usually chock full of ways to also cast things for spell, like Omni and um, also all, all of the extra turn spells, like all of them. That's actually not true. All the good ones. Yeah, my goal is to make them sacrifice their Narset. Or we'll just wipe the board and kill her. He 
you think I'm going to gain exactly two life off of three of the consoles this game? Watch them have had a turn one Ragavan, and we just ruined their whole day. <laughs> Lava glide into a sacred foundry. Mind stone. Oh, perfect. Something for Loran to destroy. She's very excited about this. She's always wanted to cause problems on purpose. Uh, I like getting more lands here. Shot the sin. Pop the mind stone. No mana for you. Only mana for me. Nice matching sleeves, though. Where are these sleeves from? Does anybody know? They're like kind of sick. <laughs> Shattered Sanctum, throwing down Davriel, if he gets countered. Usually not too many counter spells in their deck. There we go, divide by zero. One of the like weird things you can do with divide by zero is if you have something with an enter the battlefield or if Narset is being blocked and killed by the blockers, you can like put her back into hand if you happen to get this off your free spells. It was from the 2021 Women's Day Secret Lair. Oh! Awesome! We need Dak Fade in an arena? I agree. Since I don't have an answer for the uh, eventual Narset yet, I'm going to let us both draw a card. I know this also gives access. Oh! <gasps> I got an answer! Oh boy! Here, have a Davriel. Big score! Oh wow, look at that. They actually discarded a time warp. Minus two. Offers and conditions. Um whenever I draw a card, I gain two life. Exile the top two cards in my library. Sure. I don't think I'm gonna run out of cards. I got plenty of them. Hello, Narset. Would you like to come party with my Loran? You gonna kill her? She does die very easily. No, third path iconoclast. Somebody said I was only going to draw or get a uh, two card, two life off this. I think we we're gonna get more because that is making a token every time they cast a non-creature spell. Ugh. To fairy. I know your responsibilities, too. Put me in hand! I'll destroy your treasure! the treasure up, though. Inquisition of Kozilek. What else do you have? Ah, they do. So they have Mizzix's Mastery. That was their plan. Um... Peripherate and Davriel so I can use his Minus again. Do I have any creatures in my graveyard? Not yet. So I will draw three cards. And... Then exile two from my hand. Bunch of stuff's gonna happen. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Things, thing, things. Mm -hmm. Stuff and things and things and stuff. I'll drop a concealed courtyard and... Silent Clearing. Couple of painful lands here. <laughs> 
Curse it or narse it? Narse it, enlightened master. Cursing this would also be fine. I'm still saving this until I get more ways to deal with uh, Narset. I did draw the Liliana, which should help. I've got it. But yeah, they can Mizzix Mastery to recast the um, Time Warp from the Grave. You should totally just attack first. It's fine. Yes, more life. Also, these cards have been removed from my deck. Six mastery, time for the time warp. Sure. Thank you, authority of the consoles, gaining me that life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Plus eight to cast Narset with Curse of Silence. Instead of putting it back in my hand. Are you gonna cast Narset? Oh, I'm kind of surprised they would sacrifice Teferi like that. We take a little damage. I'm going to lead with the Duress. Raid and one with the Multiverse. And then we're gonna cause a Massacre. Took massacre. Bye, tokens. Curse of silence. Naming Narset and Licensed Master. Okay, Narset. Light and Master. I like the look of this game. It's going all right for me so far. I'll play Liliana. To make a zombie. They could kill the zombie, but then I would draw a card, so that's not really good for them. Excellence! Defeat of the Narset with board wipes and other stuff. Planeswalkers? There were planeswalkers. Davriel was there. He's annoying. GG. Oh my god, it has been literal weeks since I've seen Sukiyaki. Sukiyaki, hi! For anybody who doesn't know the mythical magical Sukiyaki, this is the one John Arenicus player. They love John Arenicus. I've never seen them run any other card. And their John Arenicus deck used to be a mill deck, but then they figured out, wait a minute, mill doesn't work in arena, not very well. So they turned it into a Demir control deck. Anyway, Sukiyaki, you're so real. Thank you for being you. I appreciate you. I mean this completely genuinely. I'm so happy there's one person out there. Every time I see them, they're doing the same shtick. We know what they're like. They're consistent. They're predictable. We like that. I don't know if they're a person who like watches my content or just happens to play Brawl at the same time as me. But hey, it's Sukiyaki. They just kind of hang out. I know the evolution of this person's deck because, like, I've legit... I think I played against Sugiyaki at least once a week for, like, a year straight. When you're the only person playing a deck type, it kind of makes you stand out. So they'll be able to steal from you using uh, Agent of Rafine. 
Memory lapse. Ooh, they could steal it. Do it, steal it. They added fetch lands. Yes, their deck evolves and grows over time. They're gonna seize my thoughts. Just as I seized theirs. Actually, I didn't get to seize their thoughts, but um, they might drop the duress just to stop me from seeing their hand. They're hip with the young people. Temple of Deceit. Top or bottom? The top. Okay. I just can't believe it. Honestly, we should probably get rid of that. But I don't wanna. But I probably should. But I don't wanna. But I probably should. Stop stealing my cards, please, and thank you. But I could play a planeswalker. I could turn this into an angel. Oh, <gasps> it's another thought seize. It's their thought seize. Okay, so they didn't pay the one this time. Bye, Archangel Elspeth. Karn, Scion of Urza. Oh my god, they're already down to nine life. Oh, because they double thought seized. Uh, you can have a mystical dispute. Not like I have, um... Not like I have that color uh, spell in my deck. Let's see what the other card is. Oh, Torrential Gear Hulk. Sure. Ace is the place. Karn is here. They can bring back any instant memory lapse or mystical dispute. Do you pay the one? They do. Taking a vampire so they can block. I will give you a land over Meat Hook Massacre. Guess we'll get rid of their vampire. So I can kill Soren and boop Karn. And my cat can come into the room and say hello. Hello, little Meowerstein. Hi. What's up, girl? Oh, where's my little Grimbreener? It's you. It's you. Do you pay the one? <laughs> pay the one. Oh, who's my good kitty? Scraps looks at Sukiyaki. Yo, and that card is Sukiyaki. Grab herself land. Oh my god, girl, that wheeze was terrible. I don't know if you guys heard that. My cat was just like. Argh. I like paying life. Yeah, mouth. You're so good, Scraps. No, oh, you need attention so bad. How many infinite will generate a random spell from its spell book, but it can be cast for mana of any color. He loves the scritches. Look at that little zonked out face. He's been sleeping all day and now it's time for pets. So they can cast a counter spell from their graveyard. We'll plus Onyx again. Infernal Grasp is probably a good plan. I'm going to play Bossery. 
trying to bait the counter spell. Ah, and they're going for it. I'm going to memory lapse it. I'm gonna try and kill this Gear Hulk. Onyx draining them for life. Also draining me for life. Who's a good meow meow? Who's a good meow meow? See what one mana spell they got. Oh, Light of Hope. Bugger princess, she's a little tiny bugger bugger the princess. She's a tad bigger than me. No, she's just closer to the camera. And she's so curry. Ooh, Tomity Infinite with uh Shark Typhoon is great. I will plus once more. Uh tap of completion's kind of cool. It lets me proliferate. I'll just take a land though. Excuse me, girl. Your butt's in the way. I can't see. There's a kitten tookie here. Down to three life. Playing Tomic. Oh, please don't sit on the keyboard, baby. Oh, I know you need attention so bad. I've been ignoring you all day. I've been working. Oh, and you hate when I work, don't you? You see, Amy should never, ever, ever work. She should only hang out with me. Oh, <gasps> how baleful. Too rowdy for my taste. They're at three life. Can I finish them off? I think I can. Depending on what they've got here. Foster cat. Make Tomic able to deal three damage. Kaya, don't get got by a force spike. Exile the shark. Tomic swings in for three. And we close out the game. GG, Sukiyaki. Nice to see ya. Froxa, Titan of Death's Hunger. I like our opponent's name. Never didn't have it. That's how I feel whenever I top deck the perfect answer. I will keep this hand. And I fully expect that we're going to be discarding things because they're a, they're a Croxa deck. They make us discard. Which cards do we discard? Hmm. Guess we'll find out by playing. Bring this out as a black mana source. And wonder if I want to, on turn two, maybe uh, exile the Croxa in response to its self-sacrifice ability. Probably not. Oh, I'm getting bobbled. They're filling up their graveyard so they'll be able to escape this more easily. Oh, hi, Loran. I think I need Igonjo as a pseudo spell here. Yes, young necromancers are really cute cards. I was uh, chattering over here. Last Riquette. Out here looking handsome. Lorraine out here destroying artifacts. What do we got? Hmm. Got some choices here. I'm going to play Boss Riquette. If I can get Boss Riquette to ult, he will oftentimes just win a game in a vacuum. And he just needs to tick up a few times. He starts at three loyalty, has to get to six. We have a little bit of proliferate in this deck too, uh, as a potential way to accelerate him. Yeah, so that forces them to answer the boss cat, even though it kind of becomes a nothing card. It's a one for one there. <laughs> Somebody in chat's name is Loran and was wondering like, am I, am I talking to them? Bringing out Tonic. Wonder if Tonic will die. Is Young Pyromancer also mimicking a Planeswalker? Yes, Young Pyromancer is dressed up as Liliana. Just as the Young Necromancer is dressed as Liliana. Or, okay, that one's Chandra. Chandra for Pyromancer. Necromancer is Liliana. And then we, have, we don't have another one in the cycle. 
Sorry, I'm bad at names. Oh no! A super friend! You were supposed to help me, not hurt me. Just gonna go ahead and burn a bunch of stuff here, including my life total. Sorry, I'm not interested. Young Cub is dressed as a Johnny. Is that actually one? Oh, is Oromancer supposed to be like a Johnny? It would make sense if they're all like Mancers. Now we can get some card advantage rolling. Reveal the card. Yes, please. Blood for knowledge. A fair tree. Hmm, are they gonna go for the escape right away? I think they are, so we're going to put this down on play. And if they go to escape it, they'll have to exile the stuff out of our graveyard. We put it back into their hand. Then they can play it again, make us discard whatever we have to draw for Breve. Or Mancer predates Planeswalkers. Oh, uh, that would make sense. It would be cute if we had young Chronomancer for Teferi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those those don't actually exist. It's just uh, Necromancer Pyromancer. Torin, hold the line. <laughs> well, they are thinking deeply. I don't see them uh, highlighting the cards in their graveyard, so they're not escaping, Kroxa. Oh, a virtue! Hmm... You want to bring out Croxa now? Do it! Do it! Do it! Here's Croxa! We're gonna discard this windswept teeth. I'm not too sad about that. Oh, do I have more removal? Oh, well, that's going to be fun. I'll fill up your graveyard a little more. What do we got? Oh, Sheltred. Ooh, Eternal Wanderer. Hold up. Oh. Okay. I mean, it is one of my favorite cards of all time. I am a fan of the monkey. So they'll be able to immediately escape this again. Because I have filled up their graveyard very, very nicely. Pay the six. Pay the six. Pay the six. Oh, and as for the, um, putting this in hand... The way I see it is that way, when we have to discard, and we will have to discard, I'm only going to lose the one life off of putting this into hand, rather than the three life of not having anything to discard. <gasps> it's a massacre. Okay. And a Skellyman! Oh no! Skeletons are illegal or something. Blood for knowledge. A fair tree. Oh, another board wipe. Okay. I think it makes more sense to bring down the uh field of ruin here. And discard the planes. Since they have a restless fence which we might want to destroy. How close is Soren to ulting? He's at five loyalty. Mm. 
they could also just play the seven mana virtue of persistence to try and grab like my shoulder out of graveyard right, so they're starting by shrinking tomic he is now baby hi davriel I'm gonna use that minus three ability Okay, so they're going to perpetually give him minus three, minus three. I will move him to the command zone and remove that perpetual effect. They're gonna poop Soren. Got a Wrath of God. Go ahead and bop it. Make a Skellyman. Play this land. You Pay the six. Pay the six. Please pay the six. Hmm. They're never gonna pay the six. I know, it makes me sad. <laughs> They've got some choices here. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana to work with. They're bringing out Kruxa because I see them highlighting their graveyard. Yep, he's escaping. We discard nothing and lose three life. Great. Pass to attackers. There are none. Once we get to end step, I'm going to work on drawing some cards. The Cruthio Gix. Plussing with uh, Soren. I mean, I shouldn't. But you know what? You're a coward and you won't pay the sex. I am a hero and I will pay the sex. I'm going to go to attacks. Oh, I know. I know I have to discard. <laughs> I'm a hero. And I'm actually thinking, you could just drop this land. <laughs> Is it about paying the six? Is it about sending the message? Oh, it just makes me so happy. Come make a Skeleton. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's about it's about sending a message, and the message is pay the six. Do it! Pay the six! The main pink two. <laughs> okay, they're escaping again. Gonna drop anguish done making. I know I could use that on the virtue of persistence. Yeah, enemy vents. And I'm out here just like waiting, like, you got a black market connection and you were not paying the six and you were just breaking my little heart here.
chapter two. It's a board wipe. Actually, Skyclave Apparition would work just as well. Okay, Skyclave Apparition. They still have a way to kill me next turn. Especially if they, yeah. I think they have exactly enough cards in Graveyard. Oh. They push it. They had removal. Now see, if I killed both of them because I didn't have enough mana for a, um, like a Sunfall, something else exiling. Push it real good. Uh, by the way, if I had gone for chapter three, the creatures I could get back from Graveyard, um, the biggest one is Shouldered. I didn't have enough to, uh, sorry, other Shouldered. Didn't have enough to Flipper, though. Oh, and now they pay the six. Oh, and I missed it. I was looking at our graveyard. Ah, oh, man. GG, Kroxa. Malcolm, alluring scoundrel. How you doing, handsome? Um, my commander flies, which means at least I can kind of block Malcolm sometimes. But I'm going to try to get some other pieces of removal to try and deal with this pesky flying pirate. He's always looting and countering and casting spells for free. Ooh, that Malcolm. Playing a Mox Amber, that'll allow them to play Malcolm and hold up one mana. But yeah, well, I can crack open my Flooded Plains and use it to get... That's his thing. This thing. Well, La Cruz, thank you for the nine-month resub, and thank you for the lawyerly words. Let's put Kaya in the graveyard. That way she can't hurt anybody. Are you ready? Yeah, are you ready for, like, a million counter spells? I'm not. Hey, Fairy Mastermind. Would you like me to draw a card? Listen, I would if I could. That's okay, they're just gonna break my heart. Counter my Tomic. But what kind of counter spell do you wanna use? Tail's End, Wash Away, Sinister Sabotage. Lofty Denial. Didn't say please. Listen, if you're gonna do this to me, at least do it quickly. They syncopate. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, why didn't you attack? Gabriel, Soul Broker. A park? Memory Lap. Okay, he goes back on top of my deck. <laughs> if you're gonna play Mono Blue, at least do it quickly. Don't make me suffer. of judgment. Does this one resolve? Spell Pierce. No. Swan Song. Probably not in a Malcolm deck. <gasps> Divide by zero. Okay, so they're not actually countering it. They're just putting it back into my hand and looting. I'm just out here like, I don't know, listen, man. I have no control over what they do with their crazy wazy cards. Yeah, there's so many options for counter spells and so many different things that you can do with Malcolm. 
It's one of those things where, like, Malcolm filters so well that finding your next counterspell isn't exactly hard. Day of Judgment! Day of Judgment! Okay, Snapcaster Mage. Gonna grab a uh, Memory Lapse, put it back on top again. Sinka Pate? X equals two, I can pay two. What's the vibe, bro? Memory Lapse! Okay, great. How many times do I get to cast the single spell on top of my deck? Bye, Malcolm. Scraps, did you want to come in and play magic with me? Are you a pretty little girl? <gasps> Scraps, would you like to see our opponent play video games? The kitty cat's on the floor. She's the prettiest girl ever. Oh no, Tomic's getting eaten by piranhas. That's a problem. Welcome back! Spacebar! <laughs> Scraps, come here and eat Malcolm for me, sweetie. Die! Thank you! I'm playing this as a creature. <laughs> Girl, oh no! She's just sitting in the doorway going, Wee! Amy! Please! Attentions now! I attack you! For two! Awesome. Show me a secret. Or you could, you could pay one and sacrifice this. You don't have to show me your secrets. Okay, guys, look. It's a counterspell. A counterspell. And, get this, a counterspell. I can drop the tail set. You want to make me pay the four? This doesn't work on, uh, Planeswalkers. This does. But I can pay the two, so they would need to sacrifice their Siren Storm Tamer for it. By God! Um, I'll decline. Murderous Rider, stabilize me. <laughs> two by two, we'll win this game! Or if they drew something, uh, that would be able to counter this. The virtue of persistence. Something that would let me bring back. I have no creatures. Fair creatures. Fairy mastermind. Snapcaster mage. Can you counter it? You got a spell fierce? We know about the scatter ray. I know you could flash in Malcolm. You knew about the Virtue of Persistence, because I used the other side of the spell against you. I used it to kill your creature. I killed- I killed Malcolm with Lock Twain's Scorn. 
What will they possibly cast? How will they turn the tide against the virtue of persistence? Oh, by digging! They are using Shark Typhoon to try to draw a counterspell with their three remaining mana. Do they get one? No, they don't. Okay, great. Hi, Scraps. Yeah, I know. You really want me to go play with you. You're so lonely and sad. Nice shark. Hi. Hmm. Snapcaster Mage. I'm gonna recast Duress. We're gonna undress our opponent's hand. Okay. Come on now. Just let it happen. So they have a Tishana's Tidebender, which can uh, nuke the abilities of a permanent. I wonder if they would want to use it on this. I have Atomic. Atomic's ability is... it's fine. Mostly I want Atomic because he can block these flyers. And if they try to attack me with two things, awesome, I draw cards. It's Malcolm! He's a chicken man, chicken man, chicken man, chicken man. So what they could do is they could attack in with both of these. Hit in response to Tomic's ability triggering with the Tidebender. He would lose flying and vigilance. They get in three damage. I know that's like kind of a weird sequence, but it would work. Are they gonna do it? Hey! The Tidebender coming in, nuking the ability, making Tomic forget how to fly. He's like, I don't know, my gargoyle wandered off. This is. This is normal. They put Malcolm in the middle. Mastermind. Excuse me, Miss Tidebender. I'd like you to leave. Yay! Tomic learned how to fly again. Oh, good for him. And now I want to teach Malcolm how to die again. On a counter spell. Well, okay, fine. What do you got in a top deck city over there, huh? Me drawing cards. That's what you've got. Blocking the atomic. Blocking the shark. I don't need this fairy master nine to be on the battlefield. I can just bring it back from the graveyard. Oh, the turns table. We're holding them in contempt of court. No, I'm holding them in contempt of me. I'm very contemptuous towards this commander. I don't like Malcolm. Again, like, Tomic being a 2-3 flyer does actually make a pretty big difference. He is not a kill on sight kind of commander. He's not that good. But he can block Malcolm. So close to killing them.
you have a cyclonic rift? It would put your fairy mastermind back in your hand and your snapcaster mage. Am I just playing into it? Nah. They didn't use it there, so if they had it, they would have. Okay, they're taking an extra turn. I didn't foretell it first, so they don't get any birdies. No peep peep tweet tweets. Oh, look at that! Another extra turn. Will your next draw be your last? Or are you gonna get um third extra turn? This is uh this is a real joy, Malcolm. Just a great time. Really, really fun to get to play with you. But I want you to die. Hello? It's your go. I'm waiting. 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 They are roping us. Great. We'll fast forward to the end of the game. Would you look at that? They ran out of timers and they lost the game. Don't rope people. It's rude. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Brawl Stars. I hope you liked me being the villain with an assortment of planeswalkers and board wipes and single target removal, removal spells. Tomic definitely leans into this kind of nasty deck build, but you could build him as an Orzov Death and Taxes deck. That would be very similar to my... Um, Humball deck, which got turned into a Draina and Linvala deck. You should be able to find the Brawl Stars episodes for those decks. It's pretty fun to play, even though it's very annoying for your opponents. If you're looking to suggest a new card for me to build around as my commander, please let me know in the comments. Uh, this was a suggestion, which then got voted on on my channel. That's twitch.tv slash Amazonian to start stream like every single day. And I do read through all the suggestions. I have a big old list of them. And I also have a separate list of Slime Against Humanity commanders because people really love the slime. Thank you so much for watching and have a brutal day.